I did as you told me, Tyriel. Oh, I Marius. found the temple of the Zakarum. In the deepest recesses of the temple, I found a dark gathering. My companion, the Wanderer, Talrasha, and a great evil who could only be the Lord of Hatred himself. Mephisto. Mephisto doesn't have a lot going for him. That. It's just a skeleton floating. Like a thousand needles in my heart. My brothers, and long as we stand reunited, the infernal age has been prepared, and that the time of our final victory is at hand. Like a way to hell, people. Oh, look, they're color coordinated. So nice. with the Edgar suit. made it to act four welcome to hell this is the uh, pandemonium fortress and uh, we only have a handful of people here to talk to so let's get that going looks like Tyrell wants to have the first Today, word actually no Decker Cain does the time has come for you to destroy Mephisto's soul stone take the stone to the hell forge place it upon the forge and strike it soundly with the hammer only by doing this can you prevent Mephisto from manifesting in this world ever again. Okay. So that's one quest. Good to see you again, hero. Mephisto's defeat is a great victory for the light. I knew that you would eventually find your way here. Is that a good thing or a bad the thing? The he expected us to go to hell? Heaven's power before the gates of the burning hells. This place has been hallowed by the blood of thousands of champions of the light, many of whom were mortal like yourself. Now, the final battle against the prime evil is draws near, and you must face it alone. Great. I have been forbidden to aid you directly, save for a few bits of wisdom. For this is the hour of mortal man's triumph. Your triumph. May the light protect you and the powers of heaven shine. The scene, get out of the fire. What are you doing? Jeez. That's suicidal. There is a dark, tortured soul who was trapped within this forsaken realm long ago. 
He was called Iswal, my mortal men. And in ages past, he was my most trusted lieutenant. Yet against my wishes, he led an ill-fated assault upon the fiery Hellforge itself. Despite his valor and strength, Iswal was captured by the prime evils and twisted by their perverse powers. They forced him to betray his own kind and give up Heaven's most guarded secrets. He what kind of secrets does Heaven have? Shadow of his former self, a fallen angel, trusted neither by Heaven nor Hell. For his transgressions, Iswal's spirit was bound within the form of a terrible creature, which was summoned from the Abyss. His maddened spirit has resided within that tortured husk for many ages now. That's not, that sucks. It seems to me that he has suffered long enough. I implore you, Nero, find his one and release him from his cruel imprisonment. Put an end to his guilt and suffering. Okay. As usual, we'll talk. He has gossip. Long ago, I swore an oath to watch over the Huatrum and their descendants. As Deckard Cain is the last of their esteemed order, I will not allow him to perish here so far from the lands of his birth. Be at ease, hero. I know that he is your friend. He shall come to no harm. Unlike Hassin, who decided to literally burn himself in hell. Okay, we know about the Fallen Angel. We already have our two quests. So Act 4 is shorter. There's only three quests. And our first one is to look for Iswal in the Plains of Despair. And the second one will be to take Mephisto's Soul Stone into the Hellforge. We'll do both, obviously. We'll start with the Fallen Angel. I think that's, in terms of zone, that comes first anyway. But let's uh, yes. see what else is around. I have read much about the enigmatic Archangel Tyrael. He was revered in Haradrim lore, both for his compassion for mortals and his unquenchable spirit. It was rumored that he went against the wishes of heaven and gave the Haradrim the original soul stones in order to trap Diablo and his brothers. Sounds to me like he consistently breaks the rule of not interfering. But who am I to judge? Here's our waypoint. There's only... Two. City of the Damned, River Flame. Not a lot to get. What else? What do you need? Albu. Albu is our weapon and armor vendor. And he has nothing that I can really make use of here. So we'll bid farewell to Albu. But he can repair our stuff, so that's good. Jamela. Hail to you, champion. Is our gambling vendor as well as our potion vendor. And for finally we're able to buy greater healing potions and health potions and uh, mana potions. This is why I waited to look uh, replenish our stock before coming here. Sell some armor. You know? This actually doesn't look too bad. I could make use of this versus what I have right now, which says 100 faster recovery, versus this one, which only has higher faster hit recovery. Oh, it's block rate. Never mind. Cancel that. We don't care about block rate. We're not gonna block. And then uh, she's got the wands, but I think our loath gyre, gyre, not sure, uh, is better. So it's that. So, first mission, find Iswal, free him. Let's do that. The outer steps. Flesh spawner. Interesting. Full helm there. Killer. Cash. You like cash? Doomcaster. They, I didn't get to read what it does, but I think it, I saw it say it drains mana. Yep. And it has homing missiles. Love it. Absolutely love it.
socket a chainmail there, but we're gonna leave it. I'm not too interested in that. We need to get rid of the Doomcasters fast before they can do their thing, which is to take our mana. Fun skeleton, how lovely. I'm going here. Doomcasters. Fortunately, it does look like they're squishy. Which is going to be good for us. Yeah, see? That drain mana hit me and I pretty much got all my mana depleted. That's what we don't want. Where does this lead? Okay, this is where we need to find as well, but first I want to fully explore this area. Mainly for experience sake. Too. This is a short act, and I don't want to be underleveled when we face Diablo. How convenient. Alright, more Doomcasters. Goodbye. I could have sworn I picked up more mana potions, but I guess I have been using them along the way. Trap souls. Kind of just circle around the edges and then we'll uh, center in. Blood Ruby. Is this way. Cool. You know, I really shouldn't waste blizzards on these things. It looks like they kind of just fall to a single ice blast. These guys, on the other hand, are more dur durable. Corpulent. Sorry, Hussein, I didn't mean for you to get attacked, but in retrospect, I am happy that it was you, because you don't have mana to worry about. Well, since we're back at the steps here, we may as well go back to the fortress and uh, ask Jamela here what do you need? to replenish our potion stock. Like that. And... Ruby that we got. Well, we've explored the edges of the outer steps. Now let's fill in the blanks in the center and then we can move on to Place of Despair. There's a unique pack here Mana Burn. Of course, it would be Mana Burn. Luckily, Pretty much the only thing that this thing dropped was mana potions, so... Super mana potions. 
I need mana. It's the next level. Doomcasters are interesting in that they approach you like almost in melee range before they do anything. I mean, it's helpful for me, but it's a peculiar AI behavior. Now, Shrine, excellent. Capsule. And then what's this one? I believe it's time for us to move on to the next region. Pick up this money here. Never mind, a couple more enemies. Okay, now I, I feel like we've thoroughly explored the section. Let's move on to the place of despair. Uh, but before I do that, I actually swap some potions in. There we go. Planes of Despair. So there's a new type of enemy here called Venom Lord. Which I I recall correctly breathes fire on you. It's very unpleasant. It's not something that we want on ourselves. Thankfully, we seem to be killing them with relative ease, so let's go. Uh-oh. Get out of there. Go. Pit Lords. Okay, let's pick up the Mana Potions, the Antlers, as well as this wand here. Is it ethereal? Cast your bets. Nope. Let's give two to Skeletal Mage, which isn't bad. What about this? Is useless. We'll drop that immediately. Alright. Got those guys taken care of. Venom Lords. Get out of their fire range. Not something that we want to deal with. Health Shrine. We're good on health for now. We can keep that there. More Venom Lords. Superior Jawbone Visor. Did I just see that guy teleport? Is that a thing they can do? Or was that a glitch? These stairs lead to the City of the Damned, which we don't want to approach just yet. It comes after we deal with Iswal. Deal with these flesh spawners. And their little hatchlings, or whatever they're called. Killer. Iswal! Destroy the demon that holds Iswal's soul. Apparently, he's also called Enchanted. You know what that means? We ain't gonna do anything to him. And he's about to murder Haseen. Okay, we're gonna have to use this fireball spell instead. Actually, that doesn't do anything either. Do I just have to heal Haseen and, like, let him this or what? I don't know if I'm doing damage to him. Honestly. Oh, 
We're at the A letter now. Oh man. It's pretty bad. Not enough mana. I think we're slowing him down at least. Here, Hussein. Oh, I have another one. We're past the U. Well, well, Hussein takes care of that. <laughs> Just do some inventory management. So I'm, I'm not contributing at all to this fight. Holy hell. Isn't this the most exciting fight you've ever seen? It's gotta be cold resistant. It's gotta be. Oh my god. Close. I almost got him a scene. You're, you're the best. Come on. A little more. There we go. Dear Lord. Talk to this old spirit. Kiri was a fool to have trusted me. You see, it was I who told Diablo and his brothers about the soul stones and how to corrupt them. Mm. It was I who helped the Prime Evils mastermind their own exile to your world. The plan we set in motion so long ago cannot be stopped by any mortal agency. Hell itself is poised to spill forth into your world like a tidal wave of blood and nightmares. You and all of your kind are doomed. Sweet. Who doesn't love a little optimism? Well, thanks as well. You were... By all measures, a bitch to kill. Same dialogue. See Tyrael for a reward. Wow. He was corrupted to the core. I pity him. Yeah, that sucks. Thank you, Hero, for putting Iswell's tortured spirit to rest. May the light protect you and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. But if what you tell me is true, then I fear that we have been played for fools all along. There seems like it. Help Diablo and his brothers trick me into using the soul stones against them. Now the stones' powers are corrupted. The combined powers of the soul stones under their control, the prime evils will be able to turn the mortal world into a permanent outpost of hell. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, so our reward is two skill points. And uh, I need to look up the sorceress leveling guide to figure out what I'm supposed to allocate into. I think I know, but uh, let me check. Stay a while and listen. Okay, there's nothing else for us right now. The first quest is completed. Let's uh, replenish our stock really quick. Hail to you, champion. Hi, thanks. Ooh, nice. This jawbone is gonna sell for a nice amount, as well as this bone wand, actually. It's great. I basically uh, funded the warpath to his wall by fueling the scene <laughs> with health potions, so we'll replenish those. I'll boom. Hail to you, champion. Thanks. And, uh, let me see what I'm supposed to be getting for the, uh, the level ups. What level are we? Level 27. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, it appears that I'm supposed to be putting one more point into Ice Blast. And we're gonna hang on to this skill choice 
um, because at level 30 we will get we will sim simultaneously get one point or put one point into Blizzard and one point into Cold Mastery. So yeah, that's what's next. So we'll leave that one skill point there. And um, we're kind of done with that quest. So next step is quest number two, uh, for which I guess we need to visit the Hellforge. Now the Hellforge appears to be beyond the City of the Dam, so my take is that we return to the Place of Despair and um, I'm gonna finish up killing things there so we can get more experience and then head over to the City of the Dam to get the waypoint.